Hey guys, Mr. Horton here with virtual backup lessons for Studio Art 1, Studio Art 2, and Film Appreciation and Cinematography. Hey guys, back for part two. Uh, we're continuing on on how to finish up your uh, 2D positive and negative space with Color Accent Project. We're jumping right in to a sped footage of me cutting through the body, working up to the front uh, mask on how to do the negation and the color accent part. So we're keeping going here. Guys, you're going to want to try to avoid um, cutting out more than one piece at once. Uh, you'll notice right here, I had no choice. I had to cut out these two pieces at once. But try to avoid that. And the reason why I say that is it's very easy in this project to accidentally get the pieces you need mixed up with the pieces you're throwing out. Especially when all we're doing is like flipping these pieces and gluing them and they're just all black and there's really not any descriptive things on them so it's just very easy so the best way to defend against that is just cut out one piece at once and just make sure it's the next connected piece okay See, it's happening again here. I really have no other choice. I have two extra sections here and here, but I can't really do anything about those without removing the hole. So again, I'm just gonna be really cautious. I'm not gonna lose these, but again, just try to avoid doing this. Like I need that piece. Remember guys, I'm also removing the outside line of the thing. So for example, I had a little bit of a bump out right here. And I still removed the outside line there, even though there's nothing on the other side of that. But I still just kind of did it just for consistency reasons. Because you don't really want people to see too much of the, the drawn line. Okay. All right, so I'm coming up to my first like big negated point, which is this black area here. So honestly, I'm just gonna cut it away. It's just garbage. Okay, so this entire black area, because it's ink, it's gone. Okay, and I'm gonna keep going through the helmet here until I get to the visor, which is where all my, my work is. Okay, so I'm at my negation points and my color points. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is my color points. So I'm going to remove the white space, like normal, okay? I'm gonna remove any bordering on the white space until it's just white, okay, like that. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my colored paper, which is gigantic, and I'm going to kind of just rip off a piece that I need. Now I'm going to take the glue, I'm going to glue on the white, not the black, and I'm going to glue the white side down to the yellow, so I'm looking at black on yellow right now, reversed. I'm going to cut this out again, there we go. 
Now I'm gonna glue the black, and this is gonna be what's get what gets put down. I'm just gonna make sure I frame this correctly. It's right there. Okay. Be very careful you're not smudging things. This paper, because your fingers are going to get gluey with the wetness, it might smudge the ink on this. Just be very careful with that. All right, I'm going to go to my next color point. Same deal. I'm going to remove the bordering. I'm going to put on the glue on the white side. I'm going to put the that down on the color. So white to the color. Reversed, I'm gonna recut it out. I'm gonna then glue on the black. I'm gonna line up the interface with this corner. There that is, okay. Now, negation, okay. Some of you guys have a lot of this, okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I have to go through here. Now, my negated spots are my nose, the eye, and the eyebrow. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to very, very delicately cut out the line as opposed to the, the background. This is where this gets super dicey. So there's my nose right there. the eye okay this is why I was telling you guys to try to avoid negation if we could and there's the eyebrow all right so in the case of these I'm actually gonna glue the the paper where I think these go not the the objects they're too thin all right and I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna put in the eye about here and the eyebrow about there. I'm just kind of like glossing over the, the glue just so it kind of gives this. By the way, you can use glue stick on this, but I didn't give it to you. Because I find, oop, that eyebrow flipped over. Because I find that glue stick doesn't stick as well. But I know, again, some of you guys like glue stick, so. Oop, I'm not digging the length of that eyebrow. Hold on. Let me give her a little bit of a. Alright, so there it is. I got my nose, I got my eye, and I got my eyebrow, and now it's negated. I have the white background in that spot. Now it's a little bit complicated, but it but it worked out. Alright, so I still have to do the entirety of the arm, which is right here, and I still have to do the entirety of the gun, which is right there. Alright, I'm going to cut to this being finished. Alright, so I finished uh, cutting out everything which you, you can see here now I'm back on my source image and this is the final step of this and we're gonna call this step the touch-up step so I'm gonna use extra pieces of black and the accent paper to fix spots that I'm not happy with so for example right by Samus's nose here I have this awkward triangle of white that I don't want so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take just the littlest sliver of yellow and I'm going to kind of just measure it out as best I can. So I got that in and then I might go in and do stuff like I'm not too happy with this shadow spot or this awkward area. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now, uh, and so my last step here, my very, very last thing, is I'm going to take a ruler, and I am going to, I'm going to draw out some lines here, just over the whole picture, so I could just very cleanly cut away a nice border here.
All right, so there's the final finished picture. You guys are photographing this, uploading it to Classroom. This is your next uh, big project grade for the second quarter. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer one. I'm giving you guys a little bit more than a week to do this because this, this step is complicated, okay? Again, if you have any questions, uh, take a picture of your thing, email me. I'll try to help you as best I can. Go slow and remember our, uh, our rules here. Start at the bottom. You have to work with, a, with, a, with an end point. You have to go to connected areas, contained connected areas. You're gonna cut the piece out. You're gonna remove the ink line on, on everywhere. You're gonna flip it, glue it, flip it back over, put it down. Use the overall shape as an indicator of where it should go. Move on to the next spot, okay? Whenever you get to colored areas, you're gonna cut the white piece out, remove the bordering like normal. You're gonna glue on the white, put the white down on the color, glue on the black, put the black down on the paper, that makes it colored. For negated areas, you're removing the ink line and gluing the ink line down, not the, not the base thing. So it's reversed, so you get the line on the page. And then you're gonna wanna, um, you're gonna wanna do some touching up at the end with adding in additional color if you need to. Okay, remember, you're playing with the bordering between the spots as much as humanly possible. That's this whole project. It has a little bit of an abstraction. You can't see anything else. You can use glue stick to put the, glue, the paper down. But again, I find glue stick doesn't stick as well as the Elmer's glue does. But it certainly is cleaner. You're not going to have as many smudge spots. Maybe you do a back and forth. If you're going to use the X-Acto blade to cut things, please be careful with it. Use a cutting board, okay? Don't cut your finger. If you're iffy on any of this stuff with the X-Acto blade, just use a scissors. A scissors tends to be way safer to use but again it's a little bit more dexterity needed to do stuff don't cut out more than one piece at once or try to avoid it because you don't want your pieces getting mixed up or flipped over and then accidentally thrown out and losing them uh it happened to me two or three times throughout this whole picture that